Ben, a disappointing defeat on Sunday. We didn't quite get the chance to catch up, but now that you've had time to reflect, what was your take on Sunday's performance? Uh, first 45 minutes, really good. Uh, played some superb stuff at the time, dominated the game um, in the building and creating, creating phases. Um, but when he got into the finishing phases, we just we just couldn't quite put it in the back of the net. Um, if you look at the stats on Twitter, I think we had 16 shots to their four, uh, had more possession as well. Um, Sheffield that day were, were more clinical. They scored two goals off our own errors, obviously one penalty and then one from a long range effort, which we didn't go out and close down. Um, but against a team like Sheffield coming down from tier three, we expected that, we expected them to be clinical. Um, and if we gave them any kind of chance, um, Especially off our own, uh, off our own error, uh, they were probably going to put it away. And on that day, uh, we just couldn't put, put our own, uh, our own uh, away. We now turn our attention to back-to-back -back home games in the space of three days. What do you think is going to be the most important thing over the next three days? We put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, that's going to be definitely the most important part. Um, like I said, we've, we've, we've had a good pre-season. Uh, first two games, we've we've seen a lot of progress from from last year. Um, and like I said, in the building and creating phase, we're, we're looking really strong. Out of possession, we're looking strong. Um, it's now just putting the final pieces together and um, yeah, um, just being a little bit more clinical in front of goal. We beat Wemtown last year, but they have uh, changed manager and brought a new face into the club. So what sort of challenge are you expecting from them now? Yeah, tough test. Uh, they won for opening game of the season. Um, I know they, they didn't get the result on the weekend, but like you said, new management, um, I imagine new faces, um, so expecting a very tough test, but it's a midweek game, they're travelling down, it's on our own, our own home surface, which we, we seem to be very confident on at the moment, um, so we're ex I'm expecting a, a good performance and, and, and three points to go along with that. Obviously, less than 72 hours isn't an ideal turnaround, especially with another test against Donny Bowles on Sunday, so how, how challenging is this going to be over the next three days? Yeah, it's going to be extremely challenging, but... You know, we normally train on a on a Thursday night. I know it's it's a little bit different because it, it's it's a uh, it's a match, but we normally train on a Thursday night, so it's good that it's, it falls on the same day as a training night. But um, yeah, it's going to be extremely tough. But that's why we brought new faces in. That's why we got the squad size that we have, so we can rely on others if if need be. Um, and if that's the case, then I, I have no doubts that the, those that are, are, are called on will will come out and perform. So yeah, there's no worries. Um, Obviously, it's, it is going to be a tough test with such a quick turnaround, but I've got no worries at all that we can come away, uh, come away with two, two, two good results. Just touching on that, changing players, is it is that about keeping the same principles that it, that the squad, that the normal squad, are showing? Yeah, definitely. As we go on? Definitely, like, it's there. It's if, if if that is the case, it's their chance to come in and, and prove a point and show us that they they should be starting uh, week in week out. So if if that's the case and they are called upon, they know that you know in football you don't get many chances. So. Um, they'll know that it's their chance and they they come and train on a Tuesday and Thursday and they see the squad on Sunday so they understand um, the values and principles that we abide by here at Solihull Moors and I have no doubt that they, when called upon, uh, that they will deliver.